Olympic champion Sally Pearson has refused to discuss the split with her former coach. Chris Stubbs spoke with Pearson, who's in Melbourne for the Sports Australia Hall of Fame Awards. Indeed, another successful year for Sally Pearson, capped with the Commonwealth Games gold. Sally joins us now. and Sally, you have had a change on the coaching front, though. Can you tell us about that and the reason for it? Uh, no, I don't, can't really tell you the reason for it. For me, it's just private, and that's what I, the direction that I want to go in. Can you tell us about your new coach and what uh, you're looking to get from him and what he'll bring to you? I've been working with Ash for a very, very long time, actually since I was 14. Um, and he's been working behind the scenes a lot with my former coaches. So um, I think it was just the right choice for me to go to him. If he's able to get your technique even more refined than what it already is, is that hopefully going to help you with the back and hamstring problems of recent time? Well, most definitely, but I have a whole team around that uh, helping me out with those issues. I have the physios and the doctors and we're, we're really getting stuck into making sure that my hamstrings and my back are as strong as possible. Um, obviously, the back is degenerative, so every year it's not going to get any better. It's going to probably get worse and it's just a matter of how I can handle that. We're now looking towards an Olympic qualifying campaign as well. Can you go through it all again, sir? Of course, yeah. I'm only two years away. It's not very, not very far away. And I have the World Championships. I've been running every single year with no issues at this point in time. So just hope to God that it keeps going that way. You must be super proud of the season that you managed to put together under some duress at, at many times in that Commonwealth Games victory as well. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a fantastic few years. I, uh, the last two years, unfortunately, have been um, going into a majors with an injury, but I've always come out as one of the better hurdlers. The other athletes that I'm competing against haven't, you know, they haven't come from having the, the major issues of that year, but I have, and it just it, it gives me confidence in my talent that I still have and still able to produce on the big day at, at a big performance at a big meet. So that, that's, that's what I'm really excited about, and that's the positive that I take out every year. So it's almost a case of what doesn't kill you makes Sally Pearson tougher. Well, it seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> and can you tell us now, you've had a little bit of downtime, but the preparation for the Australian summer, will we expect to see a, a fair bit of you or limited? Well, you'll definitely see me at the Nationals. We haven't um, planned any competitions yet. We're just trying to get the body right and, and get back into training, really, and, and get fit. That's the most important thing. And certainly the Sarhoff Awards again tonight, nominated for the Don, the big one. Congratulations on that. How do you think you'll go? Oh, well, I don't know. To be honest, I was really shocked when I got nominated for the award. I didn't expect it. After the year that I had, I never even thought about this award. And so when the, the nomination papers came through, I was like, wow, that was, it was really huge for me and it was really exciting and I'm, I'm so honoured. Um, I don't know, there's, a, there's, a top, there's tough people in there, but we'll see. It'll be exciting to be able to win it again. Sally, good luck tonight and uh, good luck with the injuries and we look forward to seeing you back at your best very soon. Great, thank you. Sally Pearson with Chris Stubbs. The pop